Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're going to look at division today. We're going to be dividing a two-digit number um, by a single-digit number, a one-digit number, using a place value chart so that we can see what's happening there. So our objective says I can model division of two-digit numbers using a place value chart and sharing equally. So I'm going to show 48 divided by 4. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a place value chart that has a tens place and a ones place for 48. So I have my tens place and my ones place. 48 is made up of four tens, so I'm going to show that in my place value chart. One, two, three, four. It's also made up of eight ones, so I'm going to show that in my place value chart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I like to keep my groupings in my place value chart in fives, so even though I had room to go all the way across, I like to group in fives. It makes it easier for me to count uh, smaller quantities of numbers as needed by comparing to that five. So I have 48 and I want to divide it by four. So that means in my chart, I want to split my chart into four equal parts that I can share into. So I have one, two, three, four equal sized parts that I can share my 48 into. With division, we are going to start with the largest place value because sometimes we need to unbundle the larger place value and exchange it for uh, 10 of the smaller place value. So we will start with our tens place. We're going to share our tens equally. I have four tens. I can put one in each group and I've shared all of my tens. So now that I have emptied my tens place, I'm going to my ones place and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to share one in each group until I've shared everything. So one, two, three, four, Okay, now I still have four more, so I'm gonna start over and share them with each group. So you'll notice that I have, in each of my groups, I have one 10 and two ones. Every single one of those groups is exactly the same size. So I have shared equally. So when 48 is shared equally into four groups, each group contains one 10 and two ones, which is also read as 12. So 48 divided by four is 12. Well, let's do another problem that's going to have a close to the same answer, but not exactly the same. Instead of 48, I want to divide 52 by 4. So both 48 and 52 are about 50. So I'm dividing about 50 by 4. I should get close to the same answer. So I should get something near 12 as well for my solution. So again, like before, I'm going to take 52 and put it in my place value chart. So 52 is made up of 5 tenths, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 2 ones. 1, 2. And I'm going to take that into, and divide that into 4 equal groups. So here are my 4 compartments for my 4 equal shares. So 1, 2, 3, 4 equal groups. So again, with division, I start with the largest place value in case I need to unbundle. So I have five to share, but only four groups. Hmm. So I'll start by giving each group one ten. But then I have one ten left over. I can't very well put that in the top group or any of these other groups because then the final groupings would be uneven. They would be no longer equal. I would have an extra ten in one of these bins. So I can't do that. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to exchange 110 for 10 ones. So I'm going to take that 110 and swap it out for 10 ones. Now I can take that same equivalent value, 10 plus 2, but I have these smaller pieces that I can share through my ones place. So I'm going to do like I did before. I'm just going to each it out. Each bin gets one until I've used them all. So I will do that and count them all out until I've used all 12. And I have nothing left. And if I look at my groups, they're all exactly the same size. So I have shared them equally. And each group is made up of one 10 and three ones. So when I divide 52 by four, when I share it equally into four groups, each group contains one 10 and three ones or 13. So 52 divided by four equals 13. Next time we'll look and see, well, what happens if I have one or more ones left that can't be shared equally? What can I do then? So we'll look at that next time. But today our objective was I can model division of two digit numbers using a place value chart and sharing equally. Thanks for watching.